From the outside, you wouldn't know this rambler nestled on Heiner Pond in White Bear Lake contains a pretty little secret inside that the owner and city staff want you to know about. Hi, welcome to our accessory dwelling unit. Take a look and enjoy. Owner and Remax realtor Nancy Moe invited us in to look at the bottom level of her home, which she converted into an accessory dwelling unit, or ADU. We did the best we could to take full advantage of the view. Often referred to as a mother-in-law apartment, this lower level ADU is 833 square feet, separate from the upper level, has its own entrance and contains all of the amenities as a single home or apartment. In my world of, of real estate, I was seeing a lot of builders building in what they called home health care suites. And so our idea was that we wanted to age in place because it's a beautiful location, we love our neighbors, we wanted to be living here for as long as we possibly can. Building an ADU can serve several practical functions. It can allow people to stay in their home but downsize by adding separate space for caregivers family members are to earn additional income by renting. We needed a spot for the teens to hang out because teens are loud. <laughs> With two teenage daughters, Nancy originally built the ADU to provide them their own space while teaching them independence, insulating between the two floors to keep the noise down. But she's also considering her options to rent to a tenant use as a vacation rental or provide a place for her parents someday if they're unable to live independently. One of the beautiful things with White Bear Lake is that they have it set up so that you are required to live in that upper level so people who are concerned about, you know, who are they going to get in here to rent and I am, I object to that. Well, you know what, we're going to be living up in that upper level, so we want to make sure that the people who are renting from us are respectful of our neighbors and respectful of this neighborhood. Some of the conditions of an ADU include that the homeowner has to live in the home and reside in the principal structure. The owner cannot rent both the primary unit and the ADU at the same time. The ADU cannot be larger than 880 square feet or 40% of the habitable area in the home, whichever is less. The ADU requires a conditional use permit, which takes about two months and requires an application fee. Though it may sound complex, Nancy says the process was quite simple. White Bear Lake is amazing. We loved the process. The inspectors were gracious. They were great to work with. Other people, like our contractors actually said they liked working with people in White Bear Lake because I think there's a piece of White Bear Lake that's a little bit odd, entrepreneurial. Another benefit of the ADU is to reduce the carbon footprint. Because of their smaller size, ADUs tend to have a reduced impact through less energy for heating, cooling, and lighting. And as a realtor, Nancy says she sees a real need for rental options. Even though I, I help people buy and sell houses, I am seeing so many people who would like to continue renting because maybe they're just in transition. They just really don't know where they want to be. There are not a lot of options for people who want to rent. There's not a lot of options for people who just need a short-term situation. And I really see that as a, a need that, that can be addressed without adding to the footprint of this, you know, this beautiful city that we live in because there's no more land <laughs> to develop on. If an accessory dwelling unit may seem like a good fit for your needs, visit the city's website for more information or contact the Community Development Department. These accessory dwelling units blend into White Bear Lake neighborhoods so seamlessly, you may be living next door to one and never even know it.